All right, so here we have the Beast Kingdom uh, Buzz Lightyear. Um, let's get that out of the way. Dynamic. Heroes, Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, Beast Kingdom. And I've had this guy for a while now. Um, and if you want just a really good uh, movie accurate, posable little figure of Buzz, um, I think this is the best one you can get right now. Um, it just looks very, very screen accurate. And we'll get into more of the uh, details here as we go. But um, it's just an amazing little posable, uh, posable figure. Um, so there's some of the back of the box. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the figure some. So first off, um, he comes with the stand. Um, let's take a look at the stand. Pull them off of the stand real quick. And if you're wondering if you can stand without the stand, you can stand without the stand. Anyway, so you have a nice uh, Disney Pixar um, Toy Story emblem on the base, and it says Buzz Lightyear. Stand is plastic, says Beast Kingdom on the upright part, and you have these movable uh, hooks and the stand is also adjustable so you can move this um, you can move it all the way back over if you want or forward this part down here at the base ratchets so you can adjust that a little bit and uh, this will pull off but we don't really need to do that for the purposes of this video. It does fit in there good, so it's not going to like pop off or anything. But let's take a closer look at him. I just have the basic things on him here. Is his first um, uh, face option. You have multiple faces with this, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, detail and everything on him is very, very screen accurate, um, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so um, none of the buttons do anything, they're just there. This is just a, a posable figure, but his shoulders are like double jointed. He has a uh, movement at the waist. You can, you can move him back forward this way and this way. This is a uh, plastic, but his, his, it's not rubber, but his waist is still very, very poseable. You can spin him all the way around if you want to. Um, as far as his arms, you have a lot of options uh, with arm posability. This moves out, so you can move this out of your way. Um, if you want to uh, move his arm out straighter. But something I really like about this figure that I don't know why like Signature Collection Buzz Lightyear or really any other Buzz Lightyear doesn't have this. Um, but it takes some finadling to get, uh, to get the pose you want. But he has actual ball joint wrists. Um, this is like, I really wish this was on like Signature Collection Buzz or any of the larger buzzes, but he has ball jointed wrists. You can move that around. He's got a, a swivel at his bicep. You can move those around. Um, you can uh, swivel the uh, lower forearm part. His uh, legs bend. You can get um, a good amount of movement out of his upper legs. It doesn't go back quite that far, but you can still it's still a really, really good amount of movement. His knee bends um, all the way up there. His foot uh, bends up and back. 
and side to side there's some movement on the on the ball there his front of his toes you can move up to there is also Andy on the bottom of the foot so they included that which is neat um, his head will move and you can move it up and down a little bit so you can make him look up and down his head spins all the way around um, here's a shot at the back and the sides in this particular mode that I have him in. Now, um, I'll get into um, what other accessories he comes with. Let me, give me a second, I will. All right, so here are his extra accessories. The first thing I wanna talk about is this. Uh, you have to apply the stickers yourself um, when you get them, they don't come on there, but he has these uh, battery, this battery sticker. And that is supposed to go uh, behind his backpack. I cannot for the life of me pull the backpack off of mine. It is on there really, really tight. So that's, um, that just might be mine. If you get one and you really want to like display them or use them for live action or something, I don't know. And you want to take that backpack off to put this battery sticker on there mine is i can't get it off so there's that issue he comes with an extra foot and the extra foot says bonnie so you can pick between and the uh the andy foot or the bonnie foot depending on which one you prefer or what you're doing he has different faces so first face is uh this one which is um it's a nice face. The one I have on currently is more uh, like the movie toy mode face. Um, the mouth isn't quite right, I don't think, but it's it's a movie toy mode face, at least for the original one. I don't know about like using toy, toy mode in the other movies. Um, however, uh, what's neat about these is they have these little pegs back here. So you can, uh, you can move the eyes. You can make them cross-eyed if you want. Have them look that way, or <laughs> you can do something like that. So you can uh, you can adjust the eyes depending on what you um, what you want out of what you're posing him as. So you know, it'd be kind of funny with it. Um, here is his other face, which is just kind of a goofy face. The eyes move on all of them. So some of them are really tight. This one is this one is gonna be tight to move around. But you can get them to move. Um, once you get them loose, they move a little easier. But you do have to kind of put some pressure on them to move them. So there's his other face option. Then he has uh, extendable wings, which I'll get into all this. I'll put some of this stuff on. This is a option for his wrist communicator, for an example. Uh, I have I have uh, parakeets, so that's those will be in my videos. They can be kind of loud sometimes. So this is the just the regular cover for his communicator. Um, it comes with a communicator sticker there. It's blue. Um, the other communicator, is it this one? I think it's this one. Um, is an, uh, so you can, uh, you can pose him if you want with his communicator open instead of closed. It just sits on there. So, you know, it stays on pretty good though. If I, it, you know, it'll fall off if you do too much, but it stays on that, you know, stays on pretty well. Um, then this one is the one that just sits right down on there. I think the color of his green is uh, really good to me as far as movie accuracy. Um, so you can do that. He also has um, different hands. So you have fists and you have kind of an open, open hand where he could be grabbing something or shaking a hand. Um, he comes with his helmet also. Uh, that you can attach. I'll switch his face out first because that's you have to pull on that a little hard to get it off. But the way is uh, his face is switch out is you just uh, 
you just grab um, grab it and you can kind of work your a fingernail in there a little bit these can be hard to get off when you first get them too and they'll just pop right off like that so they're supposed to have a face that's pretty creepy you know if you wanted to maybe you could like i don't know maybe you could have him holding his face like you know like it fell off yeah there's buzz holding his face so you can do stuff like that <laughs> if you wanted to but um so we'll just take this face and it just uh puts on that peg right there and you just push it on <clears throat> and there he has his new face and as far as his helmet goes it just has little uh little tabs and you just slide it on basically just like this and it will just kind of sit right on there like that so there he is with his helmet on if you want to put his wings on <clears throat> there's these little these these little uh, parts pop out so you just take these off like so that's what they look like there's one on either side that grab his wing and put it on the right side of him don't put it on the wrong side because it won't go on you just match those up there's little grooves in the backpack match up like that and you just slide them slide them right in like that one on the other side And there he has his wings, and they have included the um, the little light areas. Of course, there's no lights, no electronics on this. They don't have the colored LEDs that would normally be on there. They didn't include a little thing for that. But the wings look really nice on him. <clears throat> really nice length, really well detailed. Like I said in my 20th anniversary light year, they included this detail, which I like. They did not include, there's also lines in the movie um, that come out here on this section of the wing. They did not include that, but there is those valleys for the, for the wing. So I think that's neat. Um, and it, you know, obviously you can tell on this that if they made a wingspan this wide on a, a Buzz Lightyear figure, um, it wouldn't like be able to close because this, this is longer than this piece. So this wouldn't be able to retract fully into here. And uh, if they could retract it like part way, this part would stick way out down here. So it wouldn't like sit up in the backpack very well. So, um, you know, they do really good with the wings, I think, on uh, newer models. I wish they'd make them thinner and the backpack thinner, though, um, because that'd be more movie accurate. Um, but, I mean, they get it close. And like in Toy Story 3, when he's in toy mode at the end, they made the wings kind of purposely um, look more like collection series wings, I think, um, if you look at it. And there's a few other scenes like that, too. Um, so, uh, but anyway, um, I'm just rambling. Uh, you can change his hands, too. His hands are a little bit hard to get off, so bear with me here. Maybe I can get them off easy. Maybe not, but they just uh, pop off like that and you have a little ball joint with a peg so you can pop both of those off with some effort as you can see you have to pull pretty good on them and let's do fists and then the fists will just pop right on that peg um, it's a little bit of a they go on good. They're not going to come off if you worried about them falling off. Try to get them on the best I can. I'm reaching around my camera here, so which is my phone. But anyway, uh, pop these guys on here. There we go. Now he has his fists, so you can do 
<clears throat> the little fists on the hip type of a pose if you wanted to, which is what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Ball joint. Got to kind of switch. Now, if you want the fist to bend this way, because the ball joint isn't like three directional, you'll have to uh, pop that off and put it on a different direction, but that's fine. So you can do that and then get him with his hands there. You can have him <clears throat> do an old uh, showing off the wings type of a pose there. So, Really cool, really poseable figure. You could even bend his waist a little bit over further if you wanted to. Get a little bit different angle going. So he's like looking like he's posing for a photo or whatever. Uh, yeah. Something like that. You know, you can put, put it wherever, wherever, wherever works. Mm -mm. But it's a <clears throat> excuse me, it's a fantastic looking uh, looking figure. So and then you can stick them on a stand if you want to. This is a little bit wonky the way you have to do this because you have to uh, you can flip this around too. Like this will be a little bit higher and this will be a little bit lower. Sometimes you have to angle this back uh, a little bit to get it. Um, to get it to work right so he can stand. So there's a little bit of messing around um, that invol involves a stand. And sometimes this uh, can be a little bit annoying to get him to stand right uh, like you want. Without You don't have to use this either if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, you can get it. It just takes some messing around. If you really want that back there, you can just have him stand on the front of the stand, obviously, because he'll stand by himself. So you could have him standing like that. Um, you can also, with this stand, which I haven't seen anybody but on the reviews I watched, I don't know, there's probably one out there. Um, but if you wanted to, this is fun. You can open the open it and let me take him off here for a minute. You can um, <clears throat> get him into a pose of your liking here, and uh, you can have him. like such or however you want and you can indeed have him on the stand it's a little bit of balancing involved in this but you can easily pose him in flight modes on the stand as well and get him in a position where he looks like he's flying or taking off to fly and it'll hold him just fine like that as well so and of course you can <clears throat> excuse me you can uh, arrange that however you uh, you want but you can't have him flying so, and then you could also, if you wanted to, this will be, this is going to obviously be a longer review. If you wanted to, you can uh, pull that helmet off again. You could have him looking up a little bit to the side or whatever you want to do. Um, try to get the helmet pop back on like that. And you could have him flying 
<clears throat> looking direction you want him to look while he's flying, which is pretty cool. So when he stands just fine, I'll wiggle him around a little bit, he's not gonna fall. <clears throat> he's leaning a little bit though, because I wiggled it, but it's uh, it's it's a you know it's a sturdy. It's a sturdy stand. So you can have them and you can put them in some really neat, uh, neat poses as well. Um, as you can see. <clears throat> so it's just, it's a fantastic figure. If you want a really good posable Buzz Lightyear that's movie accurate and you can do a lot of different things with, um, this is the one I would get. There's some others similar. Um, I think this is the best one they make. Um, it's quality too. You can feel it. It's a good plastic quality and everything. It's nice and thick. I mean, for as small as it is, it weighs a good amount. So anyway, this is the review of the Beast Kingdom uh, Buzz Lightyear fig figure. Um, and I will be doing the Beast Kingdom Woody uh, next. But thanks for watching.